Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. I hope you all survived Black Friday and came out unscathed. If anybody has any interesting experiences, please let me know. I know I went online the day before yesterday and got some really great like fun things for Christmas, but have not attempted any kind of store in per like in person. Just cannot even muster the um morale for that because I feel like I, I like it like in an observational way but I feel like people would just be frantic and strange I'm very lucky though right up the road for me is a mall that is only this currently maybe a quarter full of stores because they've all lo they've moved location to a newer mall I'm in the next town over so it's quiet there's a bookstore there's a Macy's there's a Sephora there's some like quiet peaceful things there so I may yet like venture out just to see what's going on out of curiosity but this is what brought me to this card that I love so much inexperience um, I feel like in our society we're allowed to admit to the fact that we don't know everything that we might be inexperienced and in whatever like I don't know how to change a spare tire I don't know car maintenance that great I don't know some of the other things is like mathematically I can be so challenged in it's the craziest thing when I take Mensa tests, the super complex stuff, I'm always blown away. Like I get top scores on that. I don't get it, but it's like, I go almost like intuitively, I'm not even really adding or trying any technique, but when it's like some simpler processes, my brain is like, goes, warps itself and melts down. And so I'll even say, you know, if I'm in any predicament, and I remember going to fun Christmas, uh like craft fairs and i would have my stuff and everything and it was like i always did things super round numbers square and you know 20 40 all these things because i was like i'm not adding up all this crazy stuff but we're allowed to have an experience in 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 certain things and certain endeavors and in certain um categories and it's weird how some people don't really want to own up to that like they have this thing where they feel like they have to know everything. And sometimes that's very hard when you're dealing with somebody because then they lose the curiosity and they don't ask questions because they think they have to already know. Like, honest to goodness, I am terrible with names if I don't repeat it and make a little story about that person when I first meet them, especially in large groupings. So I will make a little story and repeat it, but also, I will even say, I'll own up. If I'm introducing someone, I'll be like, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I'm absolutely terrible with names. Um, that type of thing. It's like people like honesty, vulnerability. So when it comes to engaging in a new job, a new vocation, ask questions, be curious. You're allowed to not know everything. And sometimes we just forget and it's not an embarrassing thing. And people actually respect you more for garnering the knowledge you're supposed to have. You know what I mean? I remember um, one of my favorite jobs working at this great cafe for Fiona. She was just magic and wonderful little fairy on earth that I adore. And she just, she was so wonderful. The majority of the time she would never put me on the computer. I could move and go in and out of, you know, traffic and hustle and get things done and be just zoned in there and do some great things, interaction with, we would get really crowded. We have long lines, but I could not do the computer because you had to add all these things. And I just, I don't, computers aren't my best buddy and I remember she was so nice about that because I just said listen it flusters me it slows everything down um, it probably frustrates the clientele I don't have a good day at work when I'm using it but I can do pretty much a job of two if you just let me deliver and go and do stuff like that and like like one of my favorite things too was to actually do delivery and go to the big companies because I could liaise and you know I'm pretty emotionally intelligent so I would know where to go, what to do. If something was late, I was always the one being sent there to kind of like smooth the waters, stuff like that. Like I love that kind of thing. And that's the thing with owning up to having inexperience or being ill-suited for something or not knowing and needing to ask a question to just go ahead and do it. That brings us into this sun unit, like warmth and glowing and feeling good and feeling competent. Cause there's nothing like getting into your lane and your zone, right? Of something that you know how to do and you know how to do it. I thought of this so crazily the other day. I was like, I could be someone's personal assistant and this would be so bizarre. I could literally cut and color and blow out your hair. I could do your nails. I could give you facials. Um, I could do Reiki on you. I could read your tarot. I could help you fill out a resume and articulate things. I thought it was so crazy. I was like, that 
I, I'm surprised I never went into that because I remember seeing this thing on TV and this this person was all excited that this person that they hired could just blow dry hair. I'm like, just blow dry hair. I'm like, why can't they do nails, face, all this stuff? And it's weird, but that's where experience comes in. I've always done my own hair. I've always done my own skin. I've always done my own nails. I love it. I just love learning about it, all that kind of stuff. And I thought that's really interesting. But when it comes to like the sun this is just like where can you shine that light and where can you be of warmth and help and where do you feel good about yourself and where are your skill sets and do you pay others to do things for you that you could actually do and probably do better you know things of that nature um I know today is just press a button and everything's at your doorstep. Like I wish I never heard of Instacart because I literally am like, even if I want like a couple bottles of Fresco, so I'm like, I should just have that delivered. So I'm like, what is the matter with you? You know what I mean? But I, I love this because this is competency. This is you feeling good. You feeling your inner strength. You being able to also, sun is also like moving in flow state and super high vibration because then things just come to you with super ease. They just plant, they just land. The absence of plans and um, too much activity, that, that golden nugget just landing on your plate, that super idea, that restful, peaceful, um, zone that you can get into, you know, where everything's glimmering. I feel this when I'm doing readings. I feel this when I'm making jewelry. I feel this when I'm looking at superb artwork. I know right now on IG, it's like all my stuff I always want to post now is this beautiful art that I've been seeing, you know, this artwork looks like it glows. It moves me. It inspires me. That's the sun, which brings us to radical acceptance. Let's radically accept right now who we are, where we are. And that's it. So once we have self-acceptance, we value, we have self-worth, where do we want to go? What do we want to change now? Because we know that behaviors can be changed. And um, I watched this terrific thing today and I've got to get this guy's name because I just started watching him so much and he's wonderful. And he's talking about like the five circles of who we are. And for whatever reason, we work from the outside in. This is habits, the will to change, ident changing your identity and it, and he's saying like the outside is our actions right and then our emotions and our emotions are like the currency that we get paid from those actions like we exercise what is our currency we feel good our endorphins are humming along right then goes on the third level beliefs our beliefs about the world us our place in it our stories the stories we've been told about ourselves and that we tell ourselves and then this the very center is identity what is your identity? And most people want to work from the outside in. So they want to work with their actions. If I exercise, you know, I will feel good and have endorphins and my belief will be I'm athletic and I'm, I'm capable and I, I am flexible and I can do all these things. I could jog, I could do stuff. And then the stories we tell is I could be in a marathon, I could do this. And then our identity is a healthful wonderful person. But actions are hard to do. So now we're talking about starting from the center and with our identity. Let's identify as a winner, as an athlete, when we're watching people feeling good, feeling wonderful, and feeling like we've got the capacity to participate in a really cool way and do things in a, in a fashion that is like, winners participate in healthy running again and I, I like this identity let's go from the outside so I from the outside of say actions I want to do spiritual practices but what would that be the identifying the stories and the beliefs and the emotions that go with that because I love that if we identify as a spiritual being how wonderful is that then what actions would go with that oh radical acceptance of ourself and our place in this world and our beauty and our magic. And then what stories would we tell ourselves? I pray, I stretch, I honor, I have gratitude, all of that. I have resolved. What are some of our beliefs? The world is beautiful and giving and expansive. And I am curious and I want to tap into that. What emotions come with that? Beautiful, high vibrational emotions. I feel good. I feel warm. I feel acceptance. I feel love. I feel inclusivity. And what are some of the actions that would come from that? I am patient. I would be calm. I would take my time. I would look after my corporeal self, you know, all of that. So I love that. I love him talking about starting with how we identify with ourselves. I thought that is a, that is a gold right there. 
So today, I think this is wonderful. How do you identify? Do you accept who you are and where you are at life and where you want to go? And then what are the stories? Because that's another thing. What are the stories you believe about yourself, your world, your environment, your capabilities? And then go out from there because then your beliefs will change, your emotions will change your actions. And I thought, that's everything. And then our inexperience moves on to experience. And it's just this whole lovely labyrinth of new ways to identify ourselves. And I just thought that is just really beautiful. And that really just hit it out of the ballpark for me. And, you know, I'm going to, and I'm going to find his name. You know, I'm going to try to peek right now and see if he comes up because every once in a while he's on my feed because I've really been identifying with a lot of the stuff that he says and he's simply brilliant. And he's, um, you know, one of those, uh, this is the guy right here, Clark Kegley. So Clark K-E-G-L-E-Y over on YouTube. Millions and millions of views for a very particular reason. He is uh, a realist, a spiritualist. He's got fantastic templates to work from. Really big and just, it's like a mindset. It's a mindset guru and he's wonderful with that. And I thought, oh, that really, that just hit it out of the park for me. And I absolutely loved it. So you guys, that is what you were meant to hear today. I hope, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'm going to go upload. Love and light.